Hello, and welcome to the President's Update for April. We're remotely serving you with Zoom and other tools. We have three jobs right now at the college, and job one is just keeping our faculty, our staff, and our learners safe, contributing to the public health crisis where we can. Job two is self-care. We're going through extraordinary times, and self-care is just so important right now. We, in fact, designate Thursday as team check-in day just to see how people are doing. And job three is our remote serving institution, both learning and uh, learner support and our administrative tasks. We're doing all three jobs well, very happy. How are we doing? Well, we, we rock. That's what Mike Vanderpool says. We've pivoted to the remote world, creating PPE, supporting the surge, and we're slowly preparing how we would in fact reopen. That's the big question the governor gets asked every day. I want to express my appreciation and thanks. It's hard during these times. Some really good things have happened out of what is a bad circumstance, new processes, new opportunities, but it's hard. Now, news from NSCC. The cabinet and several teams are working on the CARES Act, Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act. And we'll continue to give you updates as we learn more. This is a little bit about some of the employee rights under that act. Vice President McKelvey has started our performance management process. Like we say with our students who are learning right now, grace, and forgiveness, where it's not a big deadline issue, it's just we're getting to things as we can, putting some sense of normalcy to our world. In terms of budget news, I spent time with the president's leadership team, and I would repeat what I said there. We're paying everyone for normal hours worked through June 30th. There's a weekly finance meeting of a small group of people, and we feel good about where we are. On the revenue side, the governor is going to pinch a little bit of our budget to help with the Ohio fiscal situation, but we'll receive a federal stimulus check that will help that as well as help our students. On the expenditure side, we've slowed some expenditures, particularly in the capital area, but we're going ahead with the big parking lot project. For the 21 budget, just a lot of uncertainty. And I've asked the team to run two scenarios, maybe three, keep it simple. We're redoing projections. I think we're really looking at a flat year. We'll start out under, get to even, and end up in a positive. So we're working through the process, talking to the board, and we're looking for your ideas for next year. We'll take a look at a lot of different opportunities to help balance the budget. I would say that one of the most important things we can do is keep our team intact, keep our team paid for their normal hours for the next year. That's a top priority of our job. We are also putting some e-events together. You know, this is a time of year when I prep for those great events. Mike would have had the job fair. The scholarship evening would be in another week. We've got commencement, honor ceremony, green carpet, distinguished alumni. Well, we'll limit that to two. We're going to do an e-scholarship reception and an e-commencement. So be on the lookout for those things. Also, we will have an NSCC board meeting on April 24th, continuing our normal pattern of behavior. And the big item is the uh, five pillar plan, our new strategic plan, 20 through 23, and a shout out to Allure, who helped design the pillars. In other news, we've done a good job at flattening the curve. That means we will get to a staged opening. It's not a light switch. That's what you hear the lieutenant governor and some of the national speakers say, but we will find a way to be open again. 
Here I am talking to people at commencement. I look for the day when we can gather again. So we will have e-commencement. We'll have a scholarship evening electronically. The other news is that we're in an accreditation cycle. So EVP Todd Hernandez and I met electronically with our liaison, and we've went ahead and applied for a four-month delay in our submission. And I believe most of the schools in our window are doing the same. Some other news, we follow the service area, and it is sad to report the data indicate that we have lost one person in our service area. But overall, in the six counties, 190,000 people, really our caseload right now on April 15th is right in, right in the mid-30s, with 15 hospitalized, handful in ICU, and one passed away. We've been working in the digital space very well, and I also work every day in the emergency operations for Henry County, as that's where the school is. And right now, they're doing hashtag Face It Together Henry County. And so here I am wearing my mask, as I am, and I'm looking for the N. I need the N on the mask. We need like our swag day with N but we're supporting the current health situation. Jim Bellamy's been absolutely rocking it as well. Uh, recent ads include this thank you note to our first responders and essential workers as we support in this together, stay home. And we're out there recruiting for both the summer and the fall. And students are registering, counselors are counseling. We're really enjoying all roads begin at Northwest State. On the public side, I would say two key things. The first is if you haven't done it yet, now would be the time to request your vote by mail ballot. I had the opportunity of voting early just a week before the big shutdown. And the second is you've already received your census 20. And it's important that every person in Ohio be counted. There's subsidy from the federal government money that's attached to that. I do want to mention stress versus burnout. The common theme from the meetings that I hear, and I appreciate shout out to Colin and Melanie for doing kind of a, a college-wide meeting weekly, that we've passed the adrenaline. We passed the, oh, this is fun. And we're moving towards disengagement and distant emotions, a little bit of helplessness. So I do want to stress the importance of self-care. Ask yourself how you are feeling today. Take that time. Remember that we have an employee assistance program readily available to you. Talk to your team leader. Get a little e-group, a little Zoom group of buds to talk to each other. Hoist an adult beverage, whatever you do. Some people have lots of structure to help them. Some people are unstructured and that's helping them. What do you need to help you through this time? until we get the, uh, we're not going to get it all clear, but we'll get the, you can start to open again in stages. If you want to keep up, obviously, we have our COVID-19 page. We also have our Facebook page. Uh, there's over 138 people on that page. You have to be you have basically a faculty or staff at our institution. And I so appreciate uh, Ann Kindinger and the other people putting in these great little snippets every day do what you can with all you have wherever you are. That's a Theodore Roosevelt quote from today. You can also uh, encourage NC, NSCC alumni and friends as well. That's all I've got. And it's, it's a hard time, but it's an exciting time here at Northwest State Community College. Thank you.